Hello everyone. Today we're gonna tie this. I'm gonna call this the Thunder Boo because it's basically inspired in the colors uh, from the uh, Thunder and Lightning classic salmon fly. Um, and, and basically what this is, is a fly that's meant to be as alive as possible. It's, it's also a fly that's very inspired by the uh, intruder style uh, fly tying, uh, in, intruder style of, of tying. So basically this is some marabou, uh, three different marabou hackles, a bit of flesh and then some weight. And instead of tying this on, uh, you know, uh, uh, as, as an intruder, I'm gonna, I, I, I choose to tie this on a tube because I think that the tube flies really, really has some, some awesome properties that, that for my fishing at least is better than, uh, than the intruder style. So um, really, really vivid uh, colors, very, very, very much movement in the water. It has a lot of weight, so it gets down really fast. It has a bit of bling in the flesh here as well. Um, and uh, and it's, it's, this fly really comes amazingly alive in the water. So now we're gonna tie the uh, Thunder Boo. Um, here goes. So everyone, let's go. The Thunder, uh, no, the, uh, the thunder boo, yeah. Thunder boo is what I dubbed this fly. Um, the first thing we need is, of course, uh, a tube. And, uh, and you can use both uh, a, a pro tube that is 2.2 uh, millimeters, or you can use uh, a 1.8 millimeter. Uh, the most important thing is just that you remember to make this, uh, this dentation here to, to use, your, uh, use some fire to actually have the, the tube end in, in this, uh, this this kind of bulb or dentation, whatever you want to call it. Then in order to give this fly some weight, I'm going to add a pro flexi bead. This is the 5.2 millimeters in the black, um, which is, uh, is, is the one I use for most of my salmon tube flies. Uh, it's nice, it gives it some weight and it, it makes sure that the fly gets down as soon as it hits the water. Um, and then now what we're going to do is, is basically we're going to make three marabou hackles. So uh, the first one is going to be a black one. So basically, I just take a, uh, some one of these uh, what, a bag of, of marabou here, pull out one of the hackles, and then we don't need all the fluffy part down here. We only need the tip. So in order for me to to be able to to tie this easier, I'm just going to cut this off and put this to the side. You can use those for woolly buggers or or whatever you you wish to tie. And then I'm going to tie down the black hackle here in the tip so the hackle is facing backwards and uh, and when i do this it's important that the uh, the shiny part of the feather is, is facing upwards because that will that will help with the uh, with the natural curve of uh, of of the uh, of the hackle fibers here i'm going to take my hackle plier then i'm going to turn my hackle gonna fold the marabou fibers backwards for every turn here so that they are in place everything is going to be covered by a disc in the end so I mean uh, the the color of the tying thread is 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 not that import important I'm using a white one because that was the one I had mounted when I started tying here it's important that these marabou hackle fibers uh, do not get too much entangled with each turn, so try to pull them out if, if they're starting to tangle as you as you go along here. And then what we want is, is basically, uh, this is the base for the fly, so so I, I want a bit more of the black than, than let's say I want of, of, the, of the, the, the blue one later on. And of course, depending on, on the size and, and the volume you want on this fly, you can, you can make as many turns as you like. But uh, mine is not intended to be really, really bulky. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop around here. I think that is the, the amount that I'm aiming for. Just to make things easier, I'm just gonna pull out some of these so it's not in the way when I have to tie this down. Take my tying thread over the marabou. And then one more turn, making sure it's 
it's nice and tight. And then I can cut off the marble bit off. There we go. So that's basically the first hackle here. And then I'm gonna take an orange one. No, sorry, uh, we, we need to add a bit of angel hair before we do that. So I take some orange angel hair, not a lot, but uh, but this will just give it a, a small amount of sparkle inside the uh, the fly here, something that that just looks awesome. So so um, and and this sparkle here is 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 a nice addition to the fly. So basically, I have a, a, a small amount of angel hair, not not many strands. I I fold them out so that they they come apart from one another. I spread them out in with my fingers. So I can gently just fold them all the way around because we want this fly to be as, as uniform all the way around as possible. I could do a, a dubbing loop, but, but I don't think that's necessary. This, this, is, this is sufficient, I think. So now I have some of the flesh here. And if I look from the front of the fly, it's, 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 it's fairly evenly distributed all the way around. I'm gonna cut away all the all the stumps of that as close as I can to to my actual fly here. There we go. And then I'm gonna take an orange marabou, but I'm not gonna take an ordinary orange one. I'm gonna take one of these uh, really really cool uh, barred orange uh, marabou hackles here. And, uh, and, and these seems to be clumped quite a lot together. And that's basically because uh, the individual feather here is, is of amazing quality. But uh, the process of, of dyeing these stripes on there actually make the feather clump together. So what you need to do is you need to take a pair of, uh, you need to take a, uh, a comb and just, just comb it. It will, it will completely sort it out and make this, um, this feather as good as new. Well, it is new, but but really just will will make the feather um, easier to work with as well. I'm gonna cut away again uh, the bottom part of this, remove a bit of the f the really fluffy part, so I have kind of like a, a hackle here. And again, I'm gonna tie this in the tip. So I have as much as possible of the uh, of the marabou feather here. And there we go. Tie down the tip here. And then I need my hackle plier. Where is it? There it is. And then basically just turn this one. Just like we did the black one. Again, be careful not to get any material stuck in the turns, so that uh, so that it doesn't it, it doesn't look good. There we go. Combing everything out whenever needed with my dubbing needle. And this barred orange just looks absolutely amazing here on the fly. It just looks really, really, really cool and really, really, really awesome. Especially when combined with the black, the black as the, as the, as the base. There we go. And then I think this is gonna be the final turn. There we go. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Can I save this? Yes, I could. <laughs> That's not something that happens very often with a sea of design hackle flyer. 
it, it happens, I would say, practically never. But then again, it did just now, so not never. There we go. Fasten the orange marabou. I'm gonna cut that away. There we go. And then I'm gonna take a blue one. So and again, I'm gonna cut away most of the feather because it's the tip that is interesting for for this uh, for this fly. There we go. Cutting away the tip. Taking my plier here. Then turning the blue marabou exactly like we did the. And then that came off, of course it did. When you tie in the tip here, it, it can sometimes break because it's it's very thin and it's it, it can be a bit brittle. So and that's basically the only thing you have to, to watch out for. There we go. Turn the turn the blue one. Again, fold everything back. Make sure nothing sticks where it's not supposed to. Nothing clumps together. And if it does, then use your use your dubbing needle to, to gently gently pull it pull it apart pull it out and I think a final turn of this is is gonna be sufficient and then I'm gonna remove these fibers here so they are not in the way And then we have the blue, the blue as the finishing touch. Gonna tie down on top of the blue here. There we go. I'm gonna cut away the, uh, the hackle stem. Then I'm gonna make a finish. Again, making sure nothing gets stuck in my refinish. And then as the finishing touch, I'm gonna add a small orange uh, disc here. This is um, this is a, pull, a sonic disc. If you can see that with some holes so this is going to add a lot more of uh, a lot it, it, this is going to help uh, keep the hackle in motion so in order for get to get that uh, in the right position i'm going to take some saber gap to to make it stick just adding some saber gap here to also to to make sure the fly is as strong as durable as possible then i'm going to by the disc and well there we have it this is a killer looking fly now I can easily remove this from the vise I can cut away the leftover tube here and I can take my lighter and melt down so it fits on the uh, on the uh, on the disc There we 
we go. And well, there you have it, the finished fly. This is going to have so much motion in the water. It looks absolutely amazing. It's, it's fast and easy to tie. It's, it's, it's fairly inexpensive and it's deadly out in the water. So, as always, um, thank you for watching. Um, uh, this video uh, have a full material kit. So if, if you visit my web shop, that's called nordicanglers.com, uh, you can find a complete material kit for this fly and uh, many other flies. If this is um, the first time you visited my, uh, uh, my YouTube, then it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. Or if, if you've been a returning you know, viewer, then subscribe anyway. Um, uh, because it, it really means a lot to me to, to, to have, the, ha have you subscribe to the channel. It means a lot when, when it comes to, uh, to the viewings of this video. And, and also uh, leave a comment if, uh, if you like or, uh, or press like if, uh, if, you, if you like the, the video here. Um, that would mean a lot to me. Um, otherwise, uh, swing by Nordic Anglers for some, uh, some inspiration uh, and a ton of fly tying materials. This is the, um, the Thunder Vu, um, and I can't wait to get this out into the water. Thank you for watching. Good luck out on the water.